Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to the second last video of our series about Monte Carlo methods. After we learned a lot about the theoretical background in the last videos, we will now apply Monte Carlo simulations on real world problems using R. In particular, we will consider Monte Carlo simulations in finance as an example on option pricing. So let's start. In general, Monte Carlo simulation and finance is used to evaluate the risk and uncertainty of financial instruments or investments. One particular application is the calculation of the fair price of options. In this video, we will focus on European call options, but the general concept we present can be applied to other and more complex options as well. So first of all, what is a European call option? It is a financial contract between two parties, the buyer and the seller of this derivative. The buyer of the call option has the right, but not the obligation, to buy an agreed quantity of a particular underlying asset from the seller of the option at a certain time for a certain price. If the buyer decides to exercise the option, which means to actually buy the underlying at the agreed time, the seller is obligated to sell a commodity or financial instrument to the buyer. This means that the call option can be seen as a bet on the price of the underlying asset. Most commonly, these assets are stocks, commodities, currencies, interest rates or market indices. Here we will focus on a call option on one stock. The buyer of the call option expects the underlying stock to increase in its value. The advantage of buying a call option is that it is cheaper than buying the actual stock and the possible loss is limited by the price that one has to pay for the option, whereas the possible profit is the same as the one from the stock and this is theoretically unlimited. But what is the fair price of such a financial instrument? To calculate the fair price, we need some information about the stock and the option itself. We need the time to maturity, denoted as capital T, which is the time from now until the end of the lifetime of the option, and hence the time when the buyer has to decide whether to exercise the option or not. Next, we need the strike price of the option K. This is the price that the buyer has to pay for the underlying stock if he decides to exercise the option. Further, we need the current price of the underlying stock S0 as well as its volatility sigma. As a last parameter, we need the risk-free rate R, which is the theoretical rate of return of an investment with zero risk. The payoff of an option depends on the price of the underlying stock at the maturity date, which is denoted by ST. If the value of the stock is higher than the strike price, the buyer decides to buy the stock for the agreed strike price K and could immediately sell it to receive ST on the market. Hence, the payoff would be ST minus K. If the value of the stock is less or equal to the strike price, the buyer won't exercise the option and hence the payoff is zero. In our model, we assume the prices of the stock at time T to be log normal. We then know that the natural logarithm of ST by S0 is normally distributed with the assumed mean and variation as presented here. Remember that S0 is the current price of the underlying stock and therefore a constant. Ln ST by S0 is called the continuously compounded return and describes an investment's return from time 0 to time t. Based on these assumptions, we can simulate stock prices at maturity t. We calculate the price ST by the current price of the stock S0 times e to the power of something normally distributed. Hence, we can simulate the stock prices by using standard normals. Now we are finally ready to calculate the fair price of a European call option. From finance, we know that the fair price of an option should be the discounted mean payoff of the option. The first factor, e to the negative r times t, is for discounting with the risk-free rate r over a time period of t years. The second factor is the expected value of the payoff under our model where the prices at time t follow a log normal distribution. After some mathematics, this then results into the so-called black scholes formula. Since the payoff function is defined piecewise, we need to split up the integral in the expected value. That's why we have two parts of the formula. Since the fair price is based on an expected value, we can also use Monte Carlo simulation for the pricing of options. We see that the formula to calculate the fair price looks similar to our general problem of the Monte Carlo simulation. Here, the discounted payoff function is the G function in the general case. Monte Carlo simulation is especially helpful for pricing complex options, for example path-dependent options like American or Asian options. An American option can be exercised at any point during its lifetime, and the payoff of the Asian option is determined by the average stock price over a certain period of time. In both cases, we actually have to simulate the whole path of the underlying stock to price the option. 
For this video, we show the pricing of a European call option to illustrate the general concept of Monte Carlo simulation and option pricing. This is the easiest example of option pricing and there even exists a closed formula such that we can compare the results of our Monte Carlo estimate to the theoretical value. But the concept remains the same for more complex options. Only the theoretical background of how to simulate the path of the stock gets harder and we have to consider stochastic processes like Brownian motions. So let's look at our example. Here we will look at a European call on a stock with current price 200, volatility 0.3, the strike price of the option is 150, the time to maturity is 2 years, the risk-free rate on the market is 0.02 and we want to run our simulation with 100,000 iterations. So first we have to define a function that calculates the Monte Carlo estimate for the fair price of a European call based on n simulations. So n is our input parameter here. The first step in the function is that we calculate n prices of the stock at maturity t. So we did this by using the formula that we provided on the slides before. Note that for each price we draw a random number from a standard normal distribution here. So in the end st is a vector that contains n prices of the stock at time at maturity. The next step is to calculate the value of a call option on this stock. We therefore calculate the payoff of the call option for each of the end prices. After this, we discount each of these payoffs with the risk-free rate, such that we get the present values here. As a last step, we calculate the mean over all discounted payoffs to get the Monte Carlo estimator for the fair price of this European call option. So let's run this. In our case, the fair price of a European option on this artificial stock would be 64.6. To compare our Monte Carlo estimator and to see how accurate it is, we compare it to the Black Scotes formula. So we compare it to the price based on the formulas we provided before, which is in this case 64.85. So we are quite close. To evaluate how precise the Monte Carlo estimator is, we also have to consider its variation. For this, we create 5000 Monte Carlo estimates using the replicates function and look at the distribution of the estimate. This takes a short time. It took about 43 seconds. We plotted the 5000 estimates in a histogram. The rot dot down here marks the fair price from the Black Scholes formula. We see that the MC estimates varies between 64 and almost 66. But it is quite in most of the cases it is quite close to the theoretical value from this Black Scholes formula. We could, however, increase the precision of the Monte Carlo estimator by applying some of the techniques we have seen in some of the previous videos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was somehow interesting and you could learn something from it. Be sure to also watch the last video of our Monte Carlo method series about the R package Monte Carlo, which allows to create simulation studies in a quick and easy way. See you!